Well, it's one of nature's most curious miracles. The migration is at risk, however, of monarch butterflies because numbers have gotten to record lows. This is a unique phenomenon. The numbers of monarchs here, the lifespan of the migratory generation. I mean, the way the monarchs reach the same uh, forests every year, the same trees every year. Citizen scientists across North America have helped us to track these migrations and realize their extent. I discovered this tag, YGR978, from a monarch that came all the way from Michigan but sadly died here, having not fulfilled its mission to mate. We know that the numbers are decreasing. Maybe the, the migration phenomena was truly getting to the end. We know that they are very strong, but we know that they are very fragile. So the monarchs have uh, still harbor a lot of secrets uh, for biologists and for, uh, for humanity. Our understanding, it has been community effort and not a community effort from Mexico, but from Canada, United States, and Mexico together. That is also a good example of what we can do as society in terms of our uh, balance with nature. It's up to all of us to ensure the butterfly the locals call the Daughters of the Sun continue their ancient migration. Well, the annual monarch population count finished last month and we have some good news this year. The eastern monarch population that migrates from Minnesota and Canada to Mexico is up to levels not seen in 13 years. Thanks to a combination of good weather, but also efforts from people across the continent planting milkweed and pollinator gardens and working to use less pesticides. So the kind of takeaway is this has been an international effort of citizen scientists, not large organizations or governments, but people in Canada, uh, mm -hmm. through the northern states, all the way down to Mexico saying, hey, we want to preserve this migration. And when you help the monarch butterflies, you're helping pollinators generally, mm -hmm. which we need for our food supply so important. and everything else. We're going to have some extra stuff online at care11.com on the Explore with Sven page. There's a whole lot more to learn about the biology and how they count butterflies, 600 million butterflies. That's going to be hard to do. Yeah. yeah, there's there's a process there involved and uh, yeah, so some good news, a glimmer of hope for this year, but we want to see sustained numbers uh, for over several years. Good to see they're on the rise though. 